players are going to come up. You share slides, right? Yeah, I will. I just can't. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Leslie, I'm Leslie Wolf, Wolf from, from IN3 Tradewind, and um, this is the Business Process Transformation Track. Uh, we have uh, Instabase here to uh, present. Uh, okay, uh, Sergio and Matt, go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We're super excited for the opportunity to participate in the Tradewinds Navy Showcase. Uh, my name is Sergio Zubiai, and I'm the federal county executive here at Instabase responsible for supporting the DOD as well as civilian agencies. Uh, with me, I have Matt Macknick, who's our director of technical strategy and former Navy as well. So to give you some quick background on Instabase, we are an auto automation platform for unstructured data. We're currently being used by federal organizations like USPTO, as well as some of the leading financial services organizations like JP Morgan Chase, Capital One, Goldman Sachs, and many others. And our platform is currently at a TRL 9 level, and it's operational at all of our customer engagements. So to start, I wanted to show you this image because I think it really emphasizes the challenge we're seeing today. So as Instabase began to expand, we quickly noticed that about 20% of the organization's data that we're working with is typically structured and easy to make sense of, right? But the other 80% is typically unstructured. So in the federal government, there's multiple areas in which you come across unstructured forms, such as personnel and readiness, maintenance analytics, foreign language analysis, and even security clearance processing, just to name a few. So ultimately, what we're doing here at Instabase is helping enable federal organizations to really harness that unstructured data, which is critical to their business process transformation goals. So what is Instabase, right? So we're an automation platform, as I mentioned, that enables you to tap into your unstructured data. Some buzzwords associated to our vertical of expertise is intelligent document processing, as well as hyper automation. Um, the problem that we're really helping federal agencies solve today is really the ability to quickly and accurately make sense of their data that may be tracked in unstructured documentation, as I mentioned in the last slide. So this in turn allows organizations to really reduce the need for manual data extraction, which in turn alleviates the need for a full-time employee to focus on really time-consuming tasks such as manual data entry. Now, the way that our platform um, under the underlying technology is built up is built up on deep learning transformer models, many of which we partner with leading academic institutions to leverage. We also provide organizations with the low code building blocks really needed to address very specific use cases. So for example, if you have a document processing challenge or your organization that's very niche, our platform enables your team to create custom applications to address that challenge in just a few days or even weeks. Uh, lastly, one big differentiator with our platform is our solutions marketplace. Our marketplace is a capability in which organization has the ability to reuse and repurpose specific document processing applications that may have already been built by other team members in your enterprise. So what this does is it reduces the need to recreate applications for very similar use cases, which is ultimately going to save your organization time and money. And it's going to give you a solution that can scale across the entire enterprise. So what you're here and what you what you're seeing here on the left is an example of how Instabase is leveraged. So here on the left, we have an unstructured document such as a formal work package for submarines, which includes both text and handwriting. Now, in this case, what we're doing with Instabase is we would allow you to extract whatever data attributes you deem important from the formal work package on the left. So as you can see here, we're taking maintenance type, the whole number, the controlled network package. Um, and one key differentiator with other commercial products in Instabase is that they may specialize in things like handwriting recognition or even image extraction. But Instabase can do all of that and more by really leveraging some of that deep learning transform models that I mentioned a little bit earlier, and we'll show exactly how in the demo. But essentially, we can extract all unstructured content at scale for a variety of use cases, not just very niche ones. Now, ultimately, what this is going to help with is reduce, as I mentioned earlier, the need for manual data entry. It helps improve the data quality because we are performing at a 97 to 99% accuracy rate. It accelerates time to value because you're able to build low code solutions like this one within a few days or weeks. And it helps improve the employee experience because ultimately you can focus on more important tasks that uh, once you have an automated way of extracting important data, you have you can alleviate from. So that's a little bit about the overview and pass it over to Matt.
Sorry about that. I had to unmute. Thanks, uh, thanks, Sergio. So before we jump in, um, I do have a few slides that we're going to run through um, just to kind of just to uh, set up the demonstration. So um, what we're going to do is talk about the problem we're trying to solve with with Instabase. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to analyze seven different technical work documents or work packages across similar maintenance activities. And what we're going to try to do is basically analyze how long it took to complete each one of these activities based on data that we've extracted from these documents. So each of these technical work documents is going to contain five elements. Each of those elements is going to be a form of work packages, from a work package or an FWP, a QA9, QA2, a QA27, and QA34. Now, each of these, um, each of these elements is gonna be classified into what we call two types of data. So it's going to be structured, which you see here on the bottom left-hand portion of my screen. Um, and so the reason we refer to this as structured is that these are standard forms that would be filled out. So the data that's going to be entered into these forms is going to roughly appear at the same place in the same spot on the page almost every single time. Then we also have our unstructured category of data, which our formal work package falls into. And that's because you have free form text. There's a data table, there's signatures. These things can appear literally anywhere on the page. And this is where really leveraging the power of uh, those deep learning transformer model models that Sergio uh, talked about comes into play because we're able to leverage that technology to identify those attributes we wanna extract and extract them regardless of where they appear on the page. What we're ultimately gonna be doing is taking each of these packets, we're going to classify the elements of the in, inside the packet, and then we're going to digitize and extract the data from, from each of these elements. And so let me show you how we're gonna do that. So each of these um, packets is gonna come in as a PDF. It's gonna go through a pre-processing phase, which is where we're gonna perform optical character recognition, also known as OCR, which will digitize the entire document. When we say digitize, that means that the computer will then be able to identify um, individual characters, numbers, signatures, as well as images within each of these um, PDF packets on each page. This prepares the document for classification and extraction. And one of the things to note here is that we, we leverage um, best-in-class technologies to do this. So we're using um, uh, algorithms from Microsoft, from Google. Uh, we're implementing Abby Fine to do this. And so the point here is that what we're doing is we're providing the best-in-class tools for our users so that they don't have to go and use a proprietary or rely on a proprietary solution that only does maybe one or two things and can't handle the full breadth and, and spectrum um, that's required to really fully digitize and unlock the data that's contained in these documents. Once the OCR process has been complete, this information or this data has then is then passed on to our first deep learning classifier. This classifier is going to look at that entire packet and it's going to classify the elements of the packet into either an FWP, a QA9, a QA2, a QA27, or a QA34. Once this is done, that classifier is then going to digitally split that packet apart into those individual components, and it's then going to pass it to another set of deep learning models. These models are what we refer to as deep learning extraction models because they've been trained on these elements specifically. They've been trained to identify and extract um, specific pieces of information from these pieces, from these documents. And so once that data is extracted, not only do we pull the data out of the document, we then format that data and apply data transformations to that so it's usable for our downstream analysis. So once the data is extracted and then moves on to our validation phase. So at Instabase, we always advocate for something that's called straight through processing. And what that means is we wanna remove the human being from this data extraction loop as much as possible. However, we know that due to um, maybe policy requirements, maybe there's a, a bad scan in the document or something, Human intervention may be required at some point, and we're gonna show you how easy the Instabase UI and platform makes that validation process. Last but not least, we're gonna move on to our store and present phase. So what we're gonna do is take all of this extracted data and we're gonna put it into basically a spreadsheet or a CSV file. This is gonna allow us to download that file and then display um, the results in Tableau, which is gonna allow us to perform our, our analysis. We could also leverage things like databases, flexible REST API to connect to a database, such as um, something that's relational like MySQL or Postgres. We can also connect to third-party data stores like Salesforce or ServiceNow. We've, in, we've even integrated into things like IBM Z series mainframes and IBM file stores um, for some folks that are leveraging maybe some older technologies out there. All right, so now that we have walked through um, how we're gonna set up the problem, let's go ahead and begin the demo. So um, what you see on my screen is actually um, a web page that's running locally on my computer. And I've done this because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the Instabase API to upload files to our system and, uh, and then process those files. 
The reason that this is important is because we can go ahead and integrate into your existing system so that you don't have to go ahead and remove and rip and replace a bunch of things to add new technologies uh, to your portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and upload our seven work packages right now. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And now while that's processing, I'm going to show you um, the documents that we're going to be processing. So what you see on my screen is an example of one of these work packages. And so within this document, you can see that there's um, a combination of type text, handwritten text. We're going to extract things like the hall number, this controlled work package number here, um, some drawing numbers. The big component here from this page is that we're going to extract this date, um, which represents the date that this work package was approved uh, for maintenance. And then we're also going to extract this date, which represents the date that the package was closed out um, and the work was complete. We're going to take those dates, we're going to convert them from a handwritten date into something that's digital, and then we're actually going to take the difference in number of days that were required to complete that, and we're going to analyze that across all seven packages. And you'll notice that there is nowhere on this form where um, the number of days required to complete this activity exists. So that's something we're going to have to compute within the Instabase platform. So the next document that we're going to analyze is this formal work package. And so I'm not going to go over everything we're going to pull out here, but the big takeaway is that I'm going to show you how the Instabase platform can be leveraged to extract this entire table, turn it into something that's digital, and that can be manipulated within the Instabase platform. Um, next, we're going to um, extract data from this inspection um, and material seat tag. Mainly what we're going to be looking at here, along with some other pedigree information, is whether or not this inspection was completed uh, satisfactory. And that's, we're going to be looking for this keyword here um, that says SAT, and we're going to show you how we can use Instabase to extract that. Um, next, we're going to analyze this retest record form. And so again, we're going to extract some of the pedigree information just to make sure it aligns with the rest of the, the work package. But we're going to use Instabase to extract this entire hand-drawn um, valve system here. And we're going to show you how we can take that and then make that um, something that's digital and, and uh, tracks with the rest of this package as a digital record. And then last, we're going to extract data from this um, component assembly re record form. And so again, combination of handwritten and typed text, we're going to extract these torque values that are present here. And we're also going to extract some of these dates that are on um, the device used to measure the torque along with the um, handwriting and the signature. So let's go ahead and check on where we are with our processing. All right, so our processing uh, for this upload is complete. So let's go ahead and upload our uh, results or validation file. Let's go ahead and look at what that looks like. And so what you're going to see on my screen is what's something called the flow review, um, our flow review output. And so if you recall from the presentation that we just went through, um, this is the validation step. And so this is the screen that a human operator would use to validate the inputs and the outputs that were entered by, um, by a human being. And so let's start, let's start at the top and look at what we've extracted. So we've extracted the hall number, the controlled work package number, a job control number. We have our approval start date, which is something that we were looking for. And then um, if we scroll down, um, we have our closeout date, which I will scroll down here, which is June 22nd. And then we've also calculated the number of days required for each for, for the duration of this activity, which again, this was computed by taking our handwritten dates here and then taking the difference between the two. Um, now, if we move on to our formal work package, we're able to see that we, um, we're, we have taken this table um, and we've completely extracted it in digital form. And so let's, let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. We were able to extract both the typed and the handwritten text. And if I wanted to, I could actually, I could actually come into um, this document and go ahead and edit the data here and change that. If I were to hit save edits, this would actually proceed along with the digital output of this data and be tracked with the record uh, going forward. But I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Let's go ahead and look at our QA2 or material seat inspection form. And so as you can see here, we're able to extract whether or not this inspection was satisfactory. We're also able to track um, and extract these signatures and detect whether or not they were there. Um, and these were these would be this would be data that would be inputted by the technicians to verify and certify this record. On this retest record here, um, we were able to successfully extract the system diagram, which you see on my right-hand side. And again, this is a digital copy of this hand-drawn image that was uh, placed on the record. And this will now live with this uh, digital information um, in perpetuity as long as this record uh, is maintained. We're also able to extract things like the signature, um, as well as some other critical values that were um, handwritten into this, into this document. 
The last one we're going to look at is our QA34. And so we were able to successfully extract our torque values here, as well as the calibration data that's associated with the device used to measure them. We're also able to, again, extract the signatures, um, as well as some other dates that are associated with when this was signed so that you could do things like check whether or not this was completed in a timely manner, um, as well as whether or not you, these were signed and um, approved by the appropriate individuals. So now that we've walked through um, some of the data we've collected, let's go ahead and look at that data in its entirety. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up our spreadsheet that we created from all of these outputs. And so what you're gonna see is an application that's built in the Instabase platform that allows us to view some of these the, the spreadsheet data. And what you'll see here is that we've actually extracted over hundred pieces of data from um, each of these work packages. And so we're gonna go ahead and download this data. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and analyze in Pablo. And specifically what we're gonna be looking at is this column here, so column M, the number of days that were elapsed between the start of the maintenance activity and when testing was complete, as well as um, this value here, which is the controlled work package number, which is a way to identify which maintenance activity was occurring. So let's go ahead and download that. All right, so we've downloaded our file. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Tableau. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that data source. All right, so our data is loaded. So we have our CWP numbers here, as well as our elapsed days, which is here in this column. So let's go ahead and look at our analysis. And so what you can see on my screen is our analysis of all of these uh, seven jobs. And so what we've been, what we've been able to do is basically compute um, the average time it took uh, for this maintenance activity, as well as um, some parameters like standard deviation. And so what this is allowing us to see is that, you know, we've got one outlier here and maybe that's that's a red flag for um, further investigation or maybe root cause analysis. But the big takeaway here is that in about three minutes, which is the time it took to extract um, all of those parameters from the seven work packages, we were able to quickly identify and see which maintenance activities were performing within, you know, basically one standard deviation of the average, as well as determine where the outliers were and where things were that, that may need further investigation. Now, this is only across seven maintenance activities. So if you can imagine this to put this in context and you think about this across an entire shipyard, you're doing thousands and thousands and thousands of maintenance activities like this. And this really, the Instabase platform really helps you unlock the value of that data that's, tra that's trapped in that unstructured manner so that you can make better decisions and uh, focus your workforce in a more efficient manner. So that's all we have for um, the demo today. Um, are there any questions? Uh, we are uh, not doing the, uh, any Q&A, but um, we'll okay. be sending out um, the uh, contact information so anyone can ask you questions directly. Thanks. Thanks, Leslie. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. Thank You're you for the opportunity, everybody. Nice to, see, nice to meet you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in the next session. Thanks. Sounds good. Take care, everybody. Bye.